Hey guys, Thank welcome you, to Alan. One Minute CM. Uh, we have uh, Siddharth, uh, the young uh, data scientist with us. Uh, Siddharth started coding uh, at the age of seven and uh, he's the youngest data scientist I'm aware of. And he's currently working with uh, a company called uh, Monte. And, uh, you know, uh, he's started coding when he's uh, he was at the age of seven and, you know, he's really passionate about data science. Uh, he's uh, working on projects which are more into trends, analysis, how the sales have come down during this particular pandemic. He's also working on, uh, you know, John Hopkins uh, research. So there are a lot of things he is working on. You know? So Siddharth, I mean, that, that's all I know, but can, can you basically introduce yourself and talk about yourself? So you've got three to five minutes to talk about yourself and you know what, yeah. what all did you do uh, till now? Seven to thirteen. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Um. I actually started coding when I was seven. The first few languages I worked with are um Java, C, and C plus plus. So um. Normally, I start. Uh, currently, the projects which I'm working in are mainly focused on a digital marketing online tool called Lead Mirror. Okay. Uh, which is what I'm currently working on. Uh, Lead Mirror is normally used for SEO marketing and digital marketing. Mostly uh, that sort of stuff which involves uh, Google SEO, uh, Google S uh, search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that, I'm currently w working as a data scientist in which my responsibility uh, take upon uh, giving the most valuable data insights available to the marketing team and the CEO available, which can help the growth of the company. So that's uh, my, uh, my role is being taken place on their company and to get valuable insights i try to use some machine learning models like linear regression hmm. knn and classification algorithms to get some valuable data uh, valuable data insights so that's currently what i'm working on awesome so you at this particular age you're already trying to take care of revenues for the company how, how are you managing all this to that um uh no normally before like corona happened uh we still have online schools but um i tried to actually have a schedule in which i had um i i wanted to be like some some kind of one in a crowd kind of thing in which that mm -hmm. was like my main goal i don't want it to be someone who's going to be in the same place i wanted it to be something different and when i was learning um uh, you know uh, python I, I stumbled upon ai as an AI, um, I did a lot of research and I really started to like it because because of its compatibility and, um, you know, its features of trying to predict something using mm -hmm. statistics and um, linear algebra. And uh, maths is really home to me because I really love maths because the concept of uh, predict predicting something using numbers is first, uh, really unique and empathic for me. So like that, uh, I started with data science. So, as I was starting with data science, um, uh, and I know I normally had a goal in which I wanted to be something of a different from the entire society on trying to say, hey, um, I'm not, I'm like not like the same person, but a little different. So I wanted for, for me to have that kind of name, and um, so I decided uh, to check if there are any data scientists uh, available. Um, surprisingly, I only found one, which is known as Capri. She's from USA, and I thought, why can't I be um, Asia's youngest data? scientist so there uh, the journey for me started uh, normally as a data scientist I, um, I went to many Kaggle data sets trying to perform uh, uh, machine learning algorithms to it and trying to do statistical analysis in many of them <clears throat> uh, so like that for me my career as a data scientist started okay and who, who was the uh, you know the inspiration behind uh, all this Yes, actually, uh, my dad is actually my inspiration for me because um, he's the one who introduced to me coding at a very young age. I, I, mm. I see, uh, um, when I was really young, I used to play Minecraft a lot, which is like an online multiplayer game. And right. um, as I was playing it, um, I used to really have so many curiosity, like how is Minecraft supposed to be made? When I mm. asked my dad, he told me that Minecraft is made by something called a programming language. Uh, like that, um, uh, he, he he started uh, telling me about programming languages. I asked him more questions. Um, he thought mm -hmm. I, um, um, he saw potential in me, and like that, I I started off with C. Um, then my father, my dad introduced me Java, and then Python. So it went on like a cycle together. So uh, at the starting, my dad inspired me first by telling about how the software applications or game are made by a programming language. So that's how it started for me. Cool. So what are you currently working on yeah, and you know what, what are your future plans before we get into the rapid fire question? 
Oh yeah. Um, right now, I'm currently working on um, like a sales project in which I'm trying to um, come uh, uh, find correlation between two things, which is the sales and um, uh, the sales, the uh, human rights score, and the GDP of uh, GDP of every country. If I can find any metrics there, I think then I can further move on to um uh, further move on to creating my own ML algorithm. So that's what currently and for my future plans, um, I really my dream is actually to become an entrepreneur. And uh, entrepreneur because um entrepreneur is the type of person who who's helping people for building mm-hmm. products and solving uh day to day life things, which is really frustrating. Like we have Facebook, uh, like right now, Fa- uh, before Facebook, uh, connecting with people or connecting with uh, strangers or random people was yeah. to just go to some other people's house and getting introduced with others' friend. But once yeah. Facebook came into like the entire world picture, um, the entire entirety of connection with people has changed. It's like just in few clicks, you have the uh, almost the best entrepreneur ever, Mark Zuckerberg. So uh, for me, an entrepreneur dream started from there. Um, uh, building products, uh, building products which will help people solve solve their problems. So that's my point of view. Good, super. Yeah. So, so that, let's let's quickly. I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions which will be popping up to huh. your inbox. People might have questions, yeah. suggestions yeah. for themselves as kids or you know parents who might want to get in touch with you as to what do you suggest okay. for their kids. So yeah, watch out for that. Let's let's quickly get on to rapid fire questions because we definitely huh. want to do you better. Uh, so, but before we start, I'm I'm like in a dilemma. Of, you know what to ask. Whether sh- I should ask you questions related to adults, or should I ask you something related to kids? You 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 know I'm in a fix. Which questions would you? Um, I'm really not sure. You know, I mean, I'm, uh, you can say uh, I mean, uh, uh, like. As I was like first introduced to the entire world, I think I learned a little bit about how world is functioning. So I think, um, yeah, uh, both of those work for me. Okay, so you are into teens already. So let's let's yeah, get yeah. started. So yeah. being into IT and coding, are you a morning person or a night person? Well, um, I'm actually a procrastinator myself. So mm-hmm. um, if I'm if I'm in, uh, given any program, um, if I like given any project, I'll be like, may I'll just watch some PewDiePie and just at the end of the day, I'll just complete the project. So it'll go on, go on and go on and like finally, oh my God, I, it's like um seven o'clock at the PM and I'll be like, okay, I, I spent a lot of time watching PewDiePie. I have to get started on project. So I'm a procrastinator myself. I'm still trying to um, improve, but I can say I'm a night person myself. Good. So, your favorite pizza topping? Can you repeat it again? Your favorite pizza topping? Uh, um, I I really like um chicken, but I'm also into um barbecue. I can say maybe uh, I'll say just chicken, uh, barbecue chicken. I think I like that. Okay. okay. Difference between studying in India and abroad? Oof. Um, okay, uh, I think I have a specific answer for this. Like maybe studying in India, um, mm-hmm. we actually uh, will be given a lot of assignments and a lot of projects, which will help us really, you know, uh, understanding. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, even though if we're given so much like projects and assignments, and um, even the homeworks, but I think what makes US different from India is in India we have a little bit fear of studies. And like, uh, and sometimes uh, when we, uh, when our teachers or like peers try to pr- uh, pr- pressure us saying, we have to definitely get like full marks on this. That's where uh, a fear point of view starts. So, right. yeah. Uh, so uh, if we come back to US, I don't think there's that fear. It's mostly working on assignments and imagination. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes me think uh, that's the difference between. But um, uh, uh, so yeah, that's mostly the difference because in India we have a fear uh, because of like exams and uh, you know homeworks being given us to us continuously. We have a fear developing, but uh, as of now, broad, I believe we don't have that fear too much because they mostly concentrate on uh, imagination and uh, you know ob- uh, assignments, and projects mostly. Good. <clears throat> so congratulations on your uh, young brother. I think what he's oh, yeah. three, three weeks old. Yeah. Yes. If you had to name your brother, I'm sure uh, your parents might not give you a lot of chance, a lot of options for you to name it. Yeah. But if you had to give a nickname to for your brother, would you like to choose names between Python, Java, uh, MATLAB, Tableau, mm-hmm. Twitter? You know, what are the names? 
Um, uh, to be honest, um, I we uh, I didn't really expect myself a brother, but the, this brother, uh, he's like um really trying to fight off with my mother. If I like mm-hmm. come near the brother, he'll just like try to just um you know push me out of the way and everything. So um he he um he's like he's like the type of person I don't want anyone near me. Um, so it'll just get a little bit hard to companion companion with. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we already I already named my brother called Lucky, so which is like uh, because he's like really lucky to me. Um, but if I was given chances to name Python, Jupiter, MATLAB, I'd say um um, mm, oof, uh, maybe I'd say um, uh, I cannot really think. I think I'll say um maybe Notepad, <laughs> Notepad because uh, yeah. Not bad because like Jupiter or uh, Python, we don't really have an ID, and it's mm-hmm. really ha- hard to understand what he's trying to say. Because sometimes when he's sleeping, he'll smile, but sometimes when he's crying, we have no idea why he why he can be crying. Right. So, uh, because in Notepad we cannot have like when we uh, just say dot, we cannot have different types of functions pop up. So he's uh, so with that I can see him as like Notepad, like really old version of writing code. So, are you a dad's boy or mom's boy? Oh, I'm a dad's boy. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my mom, uh, she's really good to me. She's really sweet. But the thing is, um, I, I can, I'm a really naughty boy too. I can really mm-hmm. get shouted twenty four seven with my mom, and my dad will be like, just leave him, just let him have his fun, and I can always uh, ex- escape with my dad in excuses. And my mom will be like, you, you, you're just pampering him too much and everything. So I'm a dad's boy. <laughs> So we have a question from Amy. Uh, she is saying, "What helped you to become a confident speaker?" I know oh, the answer. Con- you tell all your new friends. Oh, well, as a confident speaker, um, I'm really. I don't think I can still be certified as myself as confident speaker. But mm-hmm. to to uh, to be honest, I got this confidence come from uh, sports mostly. Um, I I'm actually before uh, before like um, uh, I was became a data scientist. I'm like when I was like third or fourth grade. I'm like really introvert. I don't talk with people. It's like mm-hmm. really hard for me to socially connect with people. But um, right. when I was introduced to like um, skateboarding, it gave me a lot of courage because um, when I was skateboarding, I have like a lot of fears of falling, a lot of fears of what if I fail. But when I was skateboarding, um, I fail, but that gave me a confidence. Hey, I can do this better. And um, you know, uh, sports is uh, sports. Then re- you really used to give me confidence. Saying it's okay if you fail, but um, you can you can think that I can do this better next time. So that confidence what was given me for sports. So um, like that, um, I think the confidence has uh, developed from that. And as a speaker and uh, fluency, um, I actually uh, went to Canada for like uh, one year, and there um, mm-hmm. I uh, I think I developed a little bit of English myself. So I think I I got my English fluent. and see from canada good yeah thank you so what makes you happy mm, okay what makes me happy um there are a lot of things that make me happy but mainly um i'm i'm, I'm really a i'm really of a gamer myself i play a lot of games um, and uh, playing games does make me happy but uh, the real things what me make me happy is like um, when i'm out with my friends or when i'm out with my family with really nice uh, dinner and um, the best memory i'm having until now is when uh, me and my um, my mom's three brothers families we all went to kerala that was like one of the beautiful memories of my life because it's like spending your time with the loved ones so i think that makes me really happy okay name three people who you connected on facebook who are really inspiring you know they're your facebook friends their profiles are really inspiring mm-hmm. so need not be of your age mm-hmm. but very inspiring yeah um Uh, the first one being Kishore Ramraju. Um, Kishore mm-hmm. Ramraju is like a great person. He's uh, in 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 Tana, which is like, um, I believe, um, Telugu, uh, Telugu and North America Foundation kind of thing. Um, mm-hmm. he's really inspiring for me. Uh, he really helped me to um helping being a speaker. Uh, um, inviting me to so many motivational. And the second being um uh, um uh, uh, Mahesh uh, Mahesh Kumar. which is uh, one of the uh, ceo of orbit shifters which is like an ai platform where mm-hmm. they try to get um, data insights using artificial intelligence he really uh, he really helped me um, being a motivational speaker myself and invites to many conferences which include machine 
machine learning and artificial intelligence yeah, and third being yeah and third being uh, YSR Michael Reddy who is actually um uh, who actually works in something called a rural india development where mm-hmm. he tries to uh, give in a foundation of trying to help the rural in uh, indian industry by mm-hmm. using technology and empowering ru- uh, villagers and farmers uh, through um, uh, technology so that's uh, that's that, those are the three main per- people i like super and inspired with so him. what character makes you laugh a lot you might be watching some uh, cartoons or you mm-hmm. know a movie so what character yeah. makes you laugh? uh i'm actually um I, this is uh, this is movie called like amar aghrantni in which the person can uh, have like different types of uh, like, uh, different types of people my mindset um, mm-hmm. i'm the type of person i can be really childish at times and really be uh, mature at times too like when i'm actually hanging out with my friends or watching cartoons or watching uh, playing games or watching a uh, beauty pie i can be really childish or really childish with my parents too but when i'm introduced to like outsiders or uh, someone who's like uh, above my age i can be really mature at that time so it, it really depends on the situation itself cool so uh, if you have to plant uh, a plant in your room or mm-hmm. on your desk where you like spend most of your time so which mm-hmm. plant would that be hmm um i'm not sure i mean i guess money plant uh, because money plant uh, the benefits of money plant uh, they give out like this really good um, homopho- homophobic oxygen and uh, they, uh, they they don't need to be exposed to sun a lot but even if you if you give them a little exposing to sun they can give out a lot of oxygen and they try to keep the room a little fresh and hygienic and i really like the name money plant because it sounds really catchy so i think i'd have money plant that's one of the reason you know i have oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah definitely i can see that so if you if you uh, were made a photograph of for a day a famous mm-hmm. photographer what is mm-hmm. that what picture would you take well uh, i am really into wildlife um mm-hmm. if i was being a, a photographer one day i'll just go over entire uh, S- uh, southern africa and Sah- sahara and just take mm-hmm. the pictures of like best animals like lions uh, tigers and um some beautiful mystical creatures i haven't seen them also i think if i can get a chance and if it's a right a right month and right year in the right part of day i think mm-hmm. i'll i'll pick aurora borealis to uh, uh, you know catch an image of super What what is the craziest thing you've done? In your um, life? craziest thing. Uh, okay. Um, this is a uh, this is a little little cra- a little crazy and a little uninformed my parents. So what happened this one day? Um, me and my friends were there. So my friend called Bavik. He came to my house and said, "Hey, do you want to uh, come to my house?" And I was like, "No, my parents are not home. I, obviously." And he was like, "That's okay. We can uh, once you come to my home." <laughs> okay. Uh, once you come to my home, he's like, "You can call your parents and." I, I know I was going to get in trouble somehow, but I still don't know why I accepted that because I wanted because all my friends were there, like three of my best friends were there, and we wanted to hang out. So I was like, okay, I, um, so I just locked the door and just took the keys with me and came to Bavik's home. And once my pa- uh, so once my parents uh, came home, they were like they were really confused to see what happened. So before I uh, after went to Bavik's home, I called him. Hey, uh, hey, um, I'm at Bavik's house, and they were like, why did you go there? Why did you go there? And we were like continuously screaming at me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. um i did i did not get uh, they i really apologized ap- apologized a lot that day and the second craziest thing i've done is um in canada um mm. uh, me and my friends were like um, i think i was like um, you know i was trying to be a little cocky with my friends saying uh, you know you are, you are, you guys are go with your parents home but i can just go on my uh, go on my own so what did this one day yeah i can ch- uh, we were playing ch- uh, where i said i can go to home alone so and uh, and that was one of my first two months in canada i was really not introduced to roots that, uh, in two months so it was like i can go to my home alone so uh, uh with my parent my dad used to come to like the school to pick me up but when, um when he actually came he didn't see me he um mm. the, in canada we have things uh, like they say like sidar please come to the desk sidar please come to the desk to the shouting but I, i was actually at the home and i i asked my neighbor to call my dad and i was like dad i'm at home and he was like 
Uh, well, I'm here to pick you up. How, why did you, how did you go there alone? Um, so that was one of the craziest things I've ever done. Because I seriously could have lost uh, the way, route of home. But somehow I just remember, I, I, I deeply remember the uh, tracks of my uh, Canadian home. So yeah, that's the two craziest things I've done. How long was your home uh, from your school? Um, it was, you can say it like um, 300 meters or something. Yeah. That's, that's, but yeah, for two months, yeah. I think you take another. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, your, your parents have some surprises coming up from you. So. Oh, yeah, definitely they do. What What makes someone smarter in your perception? You know, what What is that thing which makes? Um. Mm -hmm. So I believe what makes someone smart is not their IQ, not their intelligence and not that. What makes a person smart is their creativity and imagination skills. Because mm -hmm. definitely anyone can uh, perform coding, anyone can do Python, anyone can do data science and all. But the one who succeeds with a good idea or a good creative idea which he thinks can change the world, I think that's what makes a person smart. Because if, you, if, you, if you're given like a random kid saying, hey, take a uh, learn python he can learn it but if you say um give me a good idea in 100 seconds that cannot that cannot be possible because when you think of a good idea people like mm -hmm. mark zuckerberg and bill gates state of they thought of an idea which makes them smart uh, coding i don't think definitely it does help you going to real world but in reality making you smart is having good creativity and thinking of an idea that can change the entire world i think that's what makes a person smart super yeah. so tell me something which i don't know about i might not be aware of oh, okay it. um I okay so like uh, anything like others know but you don't right Hmm. Okay. Um. I recent. Uh. To be honest, just nothing too much. Uh, like, I'm still working on. Um. Uh, still working on to build up like a entrepreneur. I'm. I want to be an entrepreneur. So I'm mm -hmm. still trying to you know get get in a good circle of contacts and connections, which can mm -hmm. really help me in further successes of helping me become an entrepreneur. That's something and. Uh, I don't think there's uh, many things uh, like uh, like right now everyone knows I'm like a data scientist and I work for Mountain Smart Business Solutions. Um, I think one thing you didn't know like how I stumbled upon AI. So mm -hmm. um, this story is a little bit funny. So um, when I was actually um, I was scrolling to YouTube, I saw someone called Jabrils. So Jabrils mm -hmm. is like a YouTuber who does um, artificial intelligence stuff. And when I stumbled upon his channel, he created a video saying I using IBM Watson um, for a drone, and which I was really interested. So when I clicked it, the video was really cool. He showed me about, uh, he was telling about how um, artificial intelligence is a brain of its own. So when I started researching more, uh, it was really interesting because normally computers are helping us every day, like performing many tasks that we can't. But now we have a computer that it can think uh, like it can think us it itself for example google assistant you want to have some uh, like a good grub or good food you can just ask google assistant which is the best place uh, people think is like you know for good food and google uh, google maps will easily tell you hey this is a good restaurant you can go so i think that um, that really uh, made me you know have a good bit of idea thinking how and how a computer can have its own mind and a few things that other people didn't know was um, maybe like even you, maybe like you right now. We might uh, maybe people might be thinking uh, in in like a span of few months, uh, sp span of few years or months, AI will be taking over the world. I think that's what's uh, this a misconception, misconception. But reality is, it's not. We are not in like a Matrix kind of movies where um, we think AI is really going to take over. AI is um, a field where it yeah. helps human uh, helps humans for. Performance forming um, uh, things which cannot uh, humans really think but uh, computers can think and perform them so i think that's some uh, some things you didn't know i guess cool. yeah so what makes i mean you're you're at 13 you are already a data scientist you, you yeah. started at, you got a lot of appreciation when I you were this. and yeah. uh, what do you want to do when you're 23 23 
um well i think uh in the age of 23 i want to be, i want to like have a, a great i want a great company which can be uh you know useful to the entire world of mnt um mm-hmm. i'm hoping uh, by by when i'm 23 years old i'd like to have a company which can challenge one of a few india's top companies like capgemini um mm-hmm. data and infosys so my target is to challenge the three top companies that were capgemini tata and infosys and if i um, by the age of 20 i want to be a million yeah a millionaire myself so we have to see how that goes too so yeah i think i have like a good plan so my plan is uh, basically to be uh, having a software company which mm-hmm. does both um, uh, research and analysis and a service based company so it can work based on client applications and also um uh, provide its own applications to the world so that's currently what i'm thinking of by 23 as a data scientist you might be using a lot lot of platforms uh, you know tools you know which are already built by mm-hmm. service providers so which yeah. brand feel which tool uh, built by a brand um, you found it very useful and you know very user friendly and you know works really well now there are different companies like you know there is microsoft yeah. there is ibm you know there are many uh, many companies and there are few startups of course we have tools so which yeah. tools you felt as a person this this is completely your uh, uh, experience okay. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it is listed on top 10 or top 5 me not mm-hmm. be but um i believe the amazon web um, aws and amazon web systems uh, this mm-hmm. is the, um, we have amazon aws sage maker which helps um, deploying uh, deploying and training machine learning models easy so mm-hmm. i really liked uh, amazon sage maker because my company uses uh, uses two tools which are tensorflow and aws mm-hmm. engine to uh, train and deploy models if i compare these two i see tensorflow having good potential because um, you can train and test model there itself in google tensorflow but when it comes to amazon sage maker uh, it it has great cap- capabilities just like google uh, tensorflow mm-hmm. but what makes uh, tensorflow and amazon sage maker different is uh, the user friendliness uh, if you if you see with the google tensorflow there are many uh, uh, many supporting libraries we have we have javascript we have python uh, many more epic uh, many more programming language supports even we have golang also but when mm-hmm. it comes to amazon sage maker it's not completely dependent on um programmatical way but it's completely dependent on gui in which in gui you don't have too much access to tools um definitely amazon sage maker uh, does the job which you need but when yeah. you ha- uh, when you can program something you uh, using tensorflow i think that's yeah. what makes it better okay. have you uh, in during this particular experience have you uh, managed a team have you trained people have you trained mm-hmm. kids yeah um, i actually uh, i did actually train uh, some kids so um kishor ramraj actually wanted me to train uh, kids like from us uh, for like python coaching so mm-hmm. uh, i trained some uh, i trained some students and uh, tomorrow is going to be the last day for training for them so uh, i just uh, teach them like basic python how python is supposed to work and everything so that's what i teach it as my experience right now good yeah really, really inspiring uh, siddharth Hi, nice uh, knowing you uh, in detail. So that's all the rapid fire questions I had. So oh. now the final, final question: What would you do if you become CM? Yeah. So we will have one minute to answer. What okay. would you do? The areas you would focus on. Mm, okay. So is the one minute starting now? Yep. Oh, okay. So if I was CM for one day, uh, I think I I changed the most uh, uh, most things which are in- involving eco- economy and education. Uh, as an education, I want to build like um, a system where uh, instead of just uh, having the same kids being a uh, same room testing maths and everything. Kids, uh, kids can actually uh, uh, the schools can actually fill up some kind of application or projects where it mm-hmm. test some kids' skills and uh, uh, help kids do what they want to do instead of just focusing on uh, you know math statistics and everything. Kids can do what they want. I think that's something I want to uh, uh, have changed in education. And instead of 
instead of only having exams i want to wear a project lab so a creativity lab should be enabled where kids can come and uh, pursue all their creativity in that lab and when it comes to economics i want to have something where uh, 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 just like for one day uh, i want to have the entire like economic corruption gone which means like we have some like industry uh, like some retail stores just uh, like for give poor, for poor people uh, it does yeah. not give receipts so that will become a, a huge problem uh, for uh, for them storing their black money so that will be a huge problem for government and um, the people as well so uh, i ha- is implementing some kind of like digital receipt will help the economy a lot um, uh, economy a lot for uh, the government funding system too so i think that's something that's the two things i can um, I, i can change if i was a cm for one minute so yeah good job said that so yeah. any questions you have for us any point you want to share with your new friends your your contact yeah. members uh what i'd like to say is it's been a really great experience you have like a really great idea of one minute cm it really uh, you know uh, it really helps for seeing the great future heads of thinking if we were really one minute cm uh, it will really help the government understand these are the problems that people are facing and if we can get to know about them using uh, some uh, some extra uh, popular people it will really help government uh, you know uh, trying to trace out uh, situations we are facing so i think it's a really great idea i have to really appreciate that and it's been a really great time it has been a really uh, fun time and uh, to all the spe- uh, creators who from uh, i saw has the videos um, like rj yash and uh, artic agarwal the uh, mm. it's like it's really great to see some great celebrities on there too. so yeah it's a really great idea you got yeah and yes. uh, thanks to that for all the detailed feedback we also mm-hmm. have some inspirational uh, kids who are doing inspirational things coming up uh, they are getting oh. inspired in your video uh, some oh, of them are great. waiting to see your video so that they can also start off so yeah we, we have new uh, kids coming in but you're oh, definitely a lot of inspiration and we are glad you're from india and you know you're from here yeah. so keep up the good work okay. you know patient trust you know we will watch you we'll always follow you from your achievements do let us know if you need any help uh, with respect to analysis which you're trying to do we will definitely mm-hmm. try to i'm sure there are a lot of businesses who want to check you know the trends and you know uh, at least to analyze what actions they can do yeah so definitely definitely a lot of things uh, and it is just not coding you you're into a different ball game altogether revenue analysis you know yeah. you know analyzing the business is a different ball game a lot of people get confused between coding programming and analysis so yeah, you're you're in so yeah. it's a lot of courage and gets so guts so Keep up the good work. Thank you. Do well, yeah. and thank thanks for taking time out for participating. My pleasure. That's that's my pleasure, definitely. Yeah. yeah so we have a lot of compliments that have also come in. Kanchan is saying that you are not no less than a celebrity boy. Um, oh, you have thank Mr. you. Thank you. Saying very much confident. Uh, oh. Such a knowledgeable boy. That's from Sapna. Uh, that's great. Thank have, you so much. <laughs> Amy, who's saying, uh, who's asking, I mean, who's basically complimenting about your confidence. We have uh, Jay Rangaraju Garu saying that congratulations, brother. God bless Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of all of you. Oh. Okay, so with that, yeah. we'll close the uh, talk. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Thank you. That's all the best. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Um, Thank, you, Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Welcome.